Target the Question is an effective and unique problem-solving program used in classrooms all over the United States. Its efficient design gives students practice with problem-solving without the distractions commonly encountered in other problem-solving programs. A few minutes each day spent on Target the Question will guide your students to confidence and problem-solving success. Let's take a closer look at the program and how to use it. Included in your copy of Target the Question are printables with directions for use, an answer key, correlations to the Common Core State Standards, correlations to the Texas Essential Knowledge and Skills, a Problem Solving Strategies poster, and student think sheets that can be reproduced for students to use. The program itself consists of 36 problems of the week and 180 color-coded questions of the day, split into groups of 36 for each day of the week. Now that you have seen the contents, let's discuss how to use your program. Target the Question Digital Edition is designed to work well with interactive whiteboards and computers connected to projectors. To access the program, you will need to log in to digital.lonestarlearning.com with the information you receive by email. Once logged in, look for Target the Question, then click on Start Program. This will open the program in a new window and you will now be able to begin using it. Now that we know how the program is opened, let's see how Target the Question actually works. There are 36 Problem of the Week scenarios with matching questions of the day. To navigate to a certain week, click the numbered button on the screen that matches the week you wish to display. Each scenario is full of information and the questions vary from week to week. Display the Week 1 Problem of the Week scenario and read through and discuss it with the class. Then have students use the Week 1 Monday question of the day. As you are discussing the question, Relevant words can be boxed or highlighted on the question using the drawing tools provided in the program. Students choose a strategy and record it on their student think sheet and work the problem in the allotted space. After they find a solution, the students will write a summary sentence on their think sheet. This forces students to clarify and put into words what they have just done as an algorithm. It helps them see their problems as it relates to the story and thus determine if their answer is reasonable. A small version of the Problem of the Week scenarios is also provided for the students. These are in a four week to a page format in the printable materials. Students need a copy of the scenario in front of them for annotations used for problem solving, such as crossing out extraneous information, circling important information, etc. You can have the students put a copy of the small scenarios in a student folder. The student can then annotate with colored pencils each day using the color corresponding to the color of the question of that day. Purple for Monday, pink for Tuesday, and so on throughout the week. Another option might be to place these sheets in page protectors and then place them in a Brad pocket folder for each student. In this situation, students should annotate with a grease pencil. This can be erased and then used again the next day for a different question. Remember, the important information on Monday may be extraneous information on Tuesday. You can also keep the student think sheet and an extra piece of scratch paper in the student's folder. On Tuesday, the same problem of the week scenario is displayed while the corresponding Tuesday card is used to answer from. A different question is asked each day about the problem of the week, but the scenario stays the same. This process is continued through the week and starts over with the new problem of the week and questions of the day each week. Notice on the student think sheet, there is a space for students to write their own questions. Students who finish quickly or need challenges can write new questions each day or work other student created questions. We suggest that each day after students have completed the question of the day, that time is allotted to discuss answers and to use those teachable moments to reinforce concepts that students are having difficulty learning. This is the perfect opportunity for students to see that more than one strategy can be used to solve a problem. The process that has been described here is having students use a plan to solve a problem. They should always read and understand the problem first, then annotate to analyze the problem. Next, they should choose a strategy and use it. Finally, they evaluate their answer and the process that they use to find the answer. In using the same information each day, yet asking different questions, you will teach your students to confidently and consistently find important and extraneous information. What is important information on Monday may be extraneous information on Tuesday and Wednesday and become important again on Thursday.
and it helps students focus on the question and not just pick two numbers, add, and cross their fingers hoping it is right. Students see that the question becomes an important part of the problem solving process. Another great benefit of using one scenario all week is that your students become familiar with the problem and its vocabulary. They will be able to spend their few precious minutes each day actually practicing math skills rather than stumbling through the reading passages. Students love this program and so will you. And your favorite part of the program will be the results you see your students achieve.